Toxic relationships aren't just about the conflicts we see on the surface. They penetrate deep into our souls, affecting how we view ourselves and others. From the silent battles within ourselves to the ripple effects in our broader social circles, the damage can be immense. Think about it. Have you ever found yourself entangled in a toxic dynamic? Maybe it's with a friend, a family member, or even a romantic partner. How did it make you feel? How did it impact your mental and emotional well-being? As Gautama Buddha once said, in the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. In our hyper-connected world, these words resonate profoundly as we navigate the complexities of modern relationships. Today, we're diving into a topic that touches each of us deeply, overcoming toxic relationships. We'll delve into mindfulness practices, the art of detachment, and the profound wisdom of letting go. But before we embark on this journey together, I want to hear from you. Have you ever experienced a toxic relationship? What did you learn from it? How do you apply Buddha's lessons to overcome these challenges in your own life? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your insights might just inspire someone else on their path to healing. Let's begin. Number one, understanding toxic relationships. Think of toxic relationships like hidden traps in our connections with others. These aren't just normal disagreements. They're situations where negativity and emotional exhaustion become constant. Notice the signs like constant negativity and manipulation, so you can navigate through these challenges without blaming yourself. Imagine becoming a detective for your own well-being, understanding these patterns without pointing fingers. The key here is self-awareness, knowing your own emotions and limits. It's not about blaming anyone, it's about preparing for positive changes. Let's explore this journey together, shedding light on the challenges within and around you. In Buddhism, Self-awareness is like a guiding lantern, helping you evolve positively and mindfully. Number two, Buddhist philosophy on relationships. Now that we've identified the shadows, let's illuminate our path with the radiant wisdom of Buddhism. Picture relationships through the lens of compassion and empathy, core tenets of Buddhist teachings. It's not just about I and you, it's about the intricate dance where the well-being of one is intertwined with the well-being of all. In this philosophy, relationships transcend mere connections. They become threads weaving the tapestry of interconnectedness. Buddhist teachings invite us to embrace mindfulness, a state where every word and action echoes with awareness. It's about being present, fully engaged in the moment, fostering an environment where healthy relationships can flourish. In the realm of Buddhism, every interaction is an opportunity for compassion and empathy is the bridge that connects us all. It's not just a philosophy, it's a roadmap to nurturing connections that resonate with the essence of our shared humanity. Number three, techniques to overcome toxicity. Now armed with Buddhist insights, let's dive into practical tools for transformation Think of mindful communication as a dance where active listening and compassionate speech dissolve negativity. Cultivating compassion through loving-kindness meditation is like a gentle breeze sweeping away resentment and fostering empathy for yourself and others. The art of letting go comes next, releasing our attachment to outcomes and understanding impermanence. Mindfulness practices take the spotlight, offering meditation for emotional balance and present moment awareness. These are not just exercises, they're gateways to clarity, helping us navigate the emotional complexities of toxic relationships with intentionality. Remember, self-reflection is our ally. It's not about blame, but empowerment. Number four, the role of self-reflection. As we navigate the path of transformation, self-reflection emerges as our steadfast guide, illuminating the shadows within. It's not about pointing fingers, but about looking in the mirror with honesty and curiosity. Picture it as a compass guiding us through the labyrinth of our emotions, helping us identify personal triggers that might fuel toxic dynamics. This journey of self-discovery isn't a solo mission. 
It's a collective effort to empower ourselves by examining our reactions and understanding our contribution to toxic patterns. Self-reflection becomes the mirror that reflects not just our flaws, but also the potential for growth and healing. In the realm of Buddhism, self-reflection is not a journey of self-blame, but a pilgrimage towards self-awareness. It's about peeling back the layers, unveiling the authentic self that exists beyond the conditioned responses. Number 5. Setting Boundaries Mindfully Imagine boundaries as the sacred fences of your emotional garden, essential for maintaining harmony in the tapestry of relationships. Setting boundaries mindfully is not about building walls, but creating spaces where respect and understanding can flourish. It's about finding that delicate balance between compassion and self-preservation, ensuring that the garden of your well-being remains vibrant and nurtured. Picture this process as an art form, a dance of asserting your needs while respecting the needs of others. It's not about creating rigid barriers, but fostering an environment where mutual growth is possible. Setting boundaries becomes an act of selfless love, a declaration that your well-being matters. Through compassionate boundary-setting techniques, we learn to navigate the intricate landscapes of relationships, ensuring that both parties thrive in a symbiotic dance of understanding and respect. Number 6. Transforming Negative Emotions Our journey through the transformative landscapes of Buddhism leads us to the alchemy of emotions, a profound shift in how we handle negativity. Picture negative emotions as raw materials waiting to be transformed into something beautiful. In the realm of Buddhism, insights on anger, resentment and jealousy are not roadblocks but opportunities for metamorphosis. Buddhist teachings offer us a roadmap for this transformation, guiding us through the art of mindfulness. It's not about suppressing emotions but understanding their impermanence. We explore mindfulness practices that act as tools for emotional regulation, turning the raw energy of negative emotions into a source of insight and growth. Imagine forgiveness as the phoenix rising from the ashes of resentment. In Buddhism, forgiveness is not about condoning actions, but releasing the hold that negativity has on our hearts. It becomes a powerful instrument for breaking the cycle of toxicity, fostering an environment where compassion and understanding can thrive. Number 7. Navigating Codependency In the intricate tapestry of relationships, codependency can be a subtle thread that weaves its way into our connections. Picture it as a dance where one partner's needs overshadow the other, creating a delicate imbalance. Recognizing signs of codependency becomes our compass, a tool to navigate toward healthier, more balanced relationships. Applying Buddhist principles, we untangled the threads of codependency by fostering independence and interdependence. It's not about isolation, but recognizing the value of individual well-being within the collective harmony. Buddhism teaches us to build a foundation of self-love and self-care, nurturing the roots of our emotional resilience. Visualize this process as planting seeds of self-love, watching them grow into sturdy trees that provide shade for both partners. By embracing Buddhist insights, we embark on a journey where relationships are not about dependency, but interwoven strengths that support mutual growth. Number 8. Integrating Mindful Decision-Making Imagine decision-making as a journey through a labyrinth where every choice shapes the landscape of your relationships. In the realm of Buddhism, Decision-making is not a mere transaction. It's an opportunity for mindfulness and wisdom to take the lead. Cultivating clarity becomes our compass, guiding us through the twists and turns of choices that impact our connections. As we integrate mindfulness into decision-making, it's akin to polishing a gem. Each choice becomes a reflection of our values and an understanding of its ripple effect on our relationships Buddhism encourages us to assess the impact of our decisions with a mindful lens, recognizing the interconnected nature of our actions. Embracing responsibility for our choices is the cornerstone of this journey. It's not about burden but empowerment, understanding that each decision is a brushstroke on the canvas of our relationships. Number 9. The Importance of Sangha Community Picture your personal journey as a vibrant tapestry intricately woven with the threads of relationships. 
In Buddhism, the concept of Sangha or community becomes a guiding star. In this section, a reminder that our individual paths are interwoven with those of others, building a supportive community of like-minded individuals becomes the cornerstone of nurturing our spiritual and emotional growth. Imagine Sangha as a garden where diverse flowers bloom, each contributing to the beauty of the whole. Sharing experiences and learning from others on a similar journey enriches our understanding and provides valuable insights. This communal exchange becomes a wellspring of mutual encouragement and growth, fostering an environment where everyone's unique journey contributes to the collective wisdom. Creating a network for mutual support becomes our mission in this exploration. In the world of Sangha, you are not alone on your path. This shared experience becomes a source of strength, resilience and inspiration. So let's cultivate the importance of Sangha, recognizing the value of community, the shared wisdom and the collective strength that propels us forward. Number 10. Adapting Buddhist teachings to modern relationships. As we journey through the timeless teachings of Buddhism, the question arises, how do these ancient insights resonate in the fast-paced rhythm of modern relationships? This section is our bridge between the ancient and the contemporary, where we address challenges unique to today's connections while extracting timeless wisdom from Buddhist teachings. Imagine Buddhism as a well of wisdom with waters that can quench the thirst of even the most modern challenges. In adapting these teachings to contemporary relationships, we embrace a dynamic approach without compromising the core principles. It's about translating ancient wisdom into a language that resonates with the complexities of our present-day connections. In this exploration, we're not just preserving tradition, we're making it relevant. The essence of Buddhism with its emphasis on compassion, mindfulness and interconnectedness, becomes a guiding light in navigating the intricacies of modern relationships. As our journey through the realm of Buddhist techniques and teachings draws to a close, we find ourselves standing at the intersection of ancient wisdom and modern relationships. From unraveling the mysteries of toxic dynamics to cultivating compassion, setting mindful boundaries and navigating the labyrinth of emotions, we've embarked on a transformative expedition. As we wrap up this chapter, let the echoes of mindfulness, compassion and interconnectedness linger in your thoughts. Carry them into your daily interactions, infusing your relationships with the timeless wisdom we've explored. The potential for positive change is not confined to this video. It resonates in each choice, each breath and each relationship you encounter. If you found inspiration in this story, Support us by hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends and leaving a comment below with your thoughts. For more moments of motivation and tranquility, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Your engagement fuels our journey. Thank you for watching.